What is up, what is up people? So we are here now waiting for the elevator because my baby is flying to Dalian City today and hopefully she'll come back with her working visa so let's see what happens the elevator is coming come on follow me wow. so how do you feel babe nervous nervous i know don't worry everything's gonna be fine okay so we already called the um uber <laughs> so People won't understand what is Didi, so we will say Uber. Didi is the version of Uber here in China, just in case you guys didn't know. So we already called it, and uh, we're heading out right now, and maybe the driver already arrived outside, and let's see what happens. No. No. So by the way, I have my bag of rubbish here with me <laughs> so we try to like um, get out of um, not get out but uh, we try to like take the rubbish out every time we go out so yeah. that's what we do and I just did it so those are like some uh, trash containers behind me so Right now, we are just getting down. Um, I'm pretty sure the driver is already there, waiting for us. Uh, the flight is uh, 1.30, so that's why we are heading to the airport now. Hopefully we're gonna be there within 45 minutes, which is, I think, enough time to be at the airport. And, and well, from there, we will just wait. I'm not going with her because I have work tomorrow. So, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully everything is gonna be all right. Isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah. All right, guys. See you later. Thank you. Hello. Thank you.
countries. So it, it has been so difficult, uh, to be honest. And, and obviously with all that, um, a lot of um, government institutions as well, like companies, they shut down operations as well, so that made it worse, definitely. So it has been so much hassle, you know, to uh, be where we are right now. So today she's flying to Dahlia, um, hopefully to apply for her working visa, which is what we have been uh, trying to accomplish during the past few months. And it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy at all. And there were times in where we were like really worried about what, what is going to happen next because um, her visa uh, was about to expire and then we didn't know if we, we will have the chance to renew it or, or get a different type of visa for her. So, so it was like really difficult and tough times. Uh, but somehow we started out and now we are here, we are heading to the airport. So she she's finally going to that city to get the um, working visa. And hopefully she will come back um, with a working visa. And that means that uh, she will have uh, the chance to stay here in China for a longer time. Uh, meaning that we will have uh, the chance to stay together as well and accomplish our plans, our goals and everything we have been talking during the past few months and yeah, so hopefully everything is going to be alright yeah. What do you think? Price. was cancelled and we are heading back to our apartment right now so it's a little bit frustrating because um, I didn't expect that it's gonna be cancelled and I didn't check the um, app yesterday at all I was like so focusing on getting some other papers that she was needing to go there so I didn't realize and check the uh... so uh, as I was saying guys yeah the flight got cancelled and my bad that I didn't check the app to notice and realize that uh, it got cancelled so I already uh, changed the, the date so she's flying tomorrow tomorrow morning instead of the afternoon hopefully this time everything is gonna be okay so okay uh, we did some changes because uh, um, we try to change the uh, flight for tomorrow because uh, as I already mentioned before uh, the flight was cancelled the one that it was uh, scheduled for today so I, I try to call the, comp the company uh, that I used to book the ticket and, and they said that it, they, will can they will change it uh, for tomorrow but later on I checked the app and apparently it said, it said that, well not apparently, actually it said that it, it could, they couldn't change it, that the airline didn't allow like uh, the change so we decided to do something different so she's gonna uh, go there I mean she's gonna go to Beijing first by train so we're heading to the train station right now uh, it's a total mess and she'll be arriving in Beijing uh, I think around 10 p.m. tonight so she'll stay, she'll stay there for uh, one night and then she'll fly from Beijing to Dalian tomorrow morning. So I, I, I guess it's more likely to uh, find a flight from Beijing to, to Dalian since, Be since Beijing is the capital of course. 
so that's pretty much you know the changes guys so far hello 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 say hello <laughs> okay. so so yeah um these people are the guards from the building from the uh, community and they are so nice they are so kind so and gentle and friendly um so they have seen me for uh, two years here now and obviously now that Laura is with me as well so they have uh, seen us together so okay we're gonna get the Diddy taxi right now guys so we already arrived at the train station so I'm gonna give you guys a look train station right there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we're here now. We're gonna go inside. Um, of course, I'm just gonna drop her off here. I'm not going with her going by herself but we are already here so hold on guys So uh, I already uh, dropped her off in the uh, train station, she's already inside, I think by uh, now she's already boarding the, the train, so and I'm heading home right now, I'm gonna take a taxi. Uh. So we decided to execute plan B, as I said before, the plan B was to go to Beijing by train, um, because we were not even sure if we could get a flight from Huhat. Huhat is the uh, next city after Baotong, it's like an hour. Uh, distance um, going there by train and we were not even sure if we could uh, get a flight like I said from that city to Dalian so we were just like trying to find options and, and ways to uh, go there so Laura and I talked about it and yeah that's pretty much what we decided at the end of the day so she'll go to Beijing by train and tomorrow she will take a flight in the morning from Beijing to Dalian so that's pretty much um, hopefully everything like I said before will be okay and we'll see what happens that's all for now guys right now like I said I'm just heading home